add-ins help you to personalize your document or speed up the way you access information from online sources. For example, using add-ins, you can search for information from Wikipedia or add an online image without leaving the document. You need the internet to use the add-ins feature. First, let us see how to insert an add-in. Under the Insert tab, from the Add-ins group, click to get add-ins. The Office add-ins window appears. Use the search bar and type image in it. Here, you can see that there are many images related add-ins. We will select Pixabay images. Click the Add button next to the add-in. Word takes you to the Insert tab where the selected add-in is included. This add-in provides different images from an online source for use in your document. Place your cursor where you want to insert the image and then click Pixabay images from the group. In the pane, type in a keyword related to the image you want. Now click on search. You can see the thumbnail view of multiple images. Select this image. The image is added to the document. You just inserted an image using the add-in. So easy. Click the cross icon to close the pane. Go to the Insert tab. From the Add-ins group, click My Add-ins. The Office Add-ins window appears. Here, you can view the recently included add-ins. You can see Pixabay on the list. To get more add-ins, use the Store option. You can use Manage Other Add-ins from the Other Add-ins section. Now, click the Close icon to close the window. Sometimes, you may prefer to watch a video than read a long document. Online video under the media group allows you to watch and insert the video without leaving the document. Let us see how to do this. Place the cursor where you want to insert the video and then from the media group click online video. The insert video window appears. In the window, you can search a video from YouTube or paste a video link from any other website. For now, you will insert a YouTube video. Click and enter the keyword in the search box. Now, click the search icon or press enter. Scroll down and select the video. Now click insert and the video will be inserted in the document. Remember, your computer should be connected to the internet for using the online video feature. This is all about the media group. Video Embedding Microsoft Office 365 allows you to add different online and offline media resources to create an attractive Word document. These embedded visuals help you to support the document objectives and engage potential and existing clients. To embed a video in the Word document of Microsoft Office 365, first locate a suitable video in your web browser. Now, a Word document in Microsoft Office 365 supports videos from platforms like YouTube, Slideshare.net, Vimeo and others. Next, copy the web page URL from the address bar of the browser. Alternatively, you can also copy an embedded video code for your usage. Then, go to your Word document and select the position where you want to embed your video resource. Following this, click on the Insert tab. 
and choose online video. Here, a dialog box appears wherein you can paste your copied URL. Once done, click on Insert and your selected video gets embedded in your Word document. Additionally, you can directly play your video by simply clicking on the play button at the center. Once done, click away from the video and revert to your Word document. Use this feature to enhance your document with visually appealing resources. A hyperlink is used to add links to web pages or other documents for quick access. A hyperlink may be in the form of text, web page, email address and so on. Let us see how to add a hyperlink for a website. Select the text that needs to be hyperlinked and from the group click link. The insert hyperlink window appears. Type or paste the website address in the address box and click OK. You now see the color of the hyperlinked text changes. You can view the hyperlink along with a tip if you hover the cursor over the text. Now, let us see how to hyperlink another document with this document. Again, click Link. In the Insert Hyperlink window, select the folder where the document to be linked is saved. Now select the file and click OK. After adding a hyperlink, you should check if it works or not. Press and hold the control key and then click the text. If the hyperlink does not take you to the specific location or website, check for errors or file location and relink. To remove the hyperlink, select the hyperlinked text and click Link. In the window, click Remove Link. The hyperlink is removed and the font color of the text changes to the original color. All of us use a bookmark while reading a book. It helps you to remember the page you read last time and start reading directly from the next page. Bookmark in Word works in the same way. Select the text and click Bookmark. In the Bookmark window, enter the name and click Add. You notice the Add button is inactive. It is because of the space added between words. The bookmark name should not include any space between words. Remove the space and you can see the button is active. Click it. To go to the bookmark, click Bookmark and select the bookmark name. Then click Go To. Click Close. Now you can view the bookmarked text. To delete the bookmark, click Bookmark. In the Bookmark window, select the name and click Delete. Now, click Close. You may want to refer to the same item multiple times in a document, but add it only once. Cross-referencing helps you to achieve this. The item could be a heading, a figure or a table. Before inserting a cross-reference, Make sure the document has items to cross-reference. Let us cross-reference text in the document. Select the text and click Cross-reference. The cross-reference window is displayed. Select Heading from the Reference Type drop-down. Select Above or Below from the Insert Reference to drop-down. To allow users to jump to the referenced item, Select the Insert as Hyperlink checkbox. Under For which heading, select the heading name and click Insert. Now click Close. You can see the cross-reference inserted. This is all about the Links group. At times, you might want to add notes or include suggestions for someone who will look at your document. Comments can help you add these 
without disrupting the content. To add a comment, first click the Insert tab. Select the text and click Comment under the Comments group. Now add a comment related to the text. The person looking at the document can reply to your comment by clicking Reply and typing the text. Once the comment has been addressed or if it is no longer relevant, click Resolve. When you select Resolve, it indicates the issue noted in the comment is addressed. You can add multiple comments. You can also access the comment command from the comments group under the Review tab. This covers the comments group.